AI tools and services are becoming ubiquitous. Right on your Windows machine as Microsoft's own AI tool called Copilot. Today, I'm going to show you how to use it. This is Isaiah Bonnet from Bonnet Tech Solutions, and in today's video, I'll be showing you everything you need to know to get started using Copilot in Windows. I have placed timestamps in the description below, so feel free to skip ahead to a part that you may feel more interested in. Let's get started. So, what is Copilot? Well, Microsoft defines it as your everyday AI companion. So, if you've been using AI tools like ChatGPT, then Copilot is no stranger to you when it comes to its feature. So for instance, using Copilot, you can generate texts, you can do your research, you can also use it to generate images as well. This is a prompt that I did and I asked Copilot to make a Burnet Tech superhero and this is what it came up with and it looks good if I do say so myself. So. How does Copilot do this thing? How does it really operate? It is actually built on GPT-4. So GPT-4, it's a multimodal large language model and it allows Copilot basically to generate text. So that's when you type in to generate an essay or to write a paragraph. That's the model that it uses for that. Not only can it generate text, but it can also generate images like you saw. It does that by using a model called DALI 3. It is a text to image model. So using GPT-4 and DALI 3, we get Microsoft Copilot. Now with Copilot in Windows, not only are you able to generate information, generate images or generate text, but Copilot in Windows gives you the ability to instruct your windows machine you can tell it what to do in essence you can instruct it and let it know to perform this task so the three main features that come with copilot in windows is that of changing windows settings so with copilot in windows you're able to change your windows settings you're able to turn that moon on you're able to meet your volume change wallpaper the second is you're able to launch Troubleshooter. Troubleshooter basically assists you in resolving common problems on your Windows machine. You're able to use Copilot to help you do that. And the third is you're able to perform common tasks. You're able to take a screenshot, you're able to set a timer, you're able to open applications, you're able to on screencast, for instance. So there are several things that you can do with each of these features, but these are the three main features that you have with Copilot in Windows. Now to get Copilot in Windows, there's also a list of requirements that you need to meet. The first requirement is it is only available in selected countries. So it's not available everywhere as as yet. It's available in North America, parts of Asia, and South America. It is only available on Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you have an older operating system, then unfortunately it is not available on those operating systems. Uh, you must have the latest Windows update. So if you have a Windows 10 machine and it is not fully updated, uh, then you will not be able to get Copilot. The other requirement is that Windows 10 Pro users, um, if you're on the 22H2 version and it is managed by your organization, Copilot in Windows is not to get full access of Copilot in Windows, you need a Microsoft account. It doesn't have to be an Outlook account. It could be a federated account. So if you have a Gmail account, then you can use it to sign in to Microsoft as well. Uh, if you have a local account on your Windows machine, then you have limited access to using Copilot in Windows. Now, while we're going through this guide, please keep in mind that Copilot in Windows is still in preview. That means that the Copilot team, the developers, they are still working on enhancing the Copilot experience. But that's a good thing. So if you see anything that you like, anything that you don't like, or any improvements that you would like to see, leave it in the comment section below. Who knows? Maybe someone at Microsoft will see this video, look at the comments, and apply this feedback to their product. Okay, 
So enough with the slides. Let's get into using Copilot in Windows. So join me on my Windows machine. There are two ways to access Copilot. The first way is by using the Copilot icon found in your taskbar. The second way is by using the key command Windows plus C and the Copilot will also be opened. Now, if you're not seeing Copilot in your taskbar, then right click your taskbar, select taskbar settings, and then you can toggle to have Copilot on or off. In some versions of Windows 11, your Copilot icon might actually be to the right next to your clock. So let's get into the Copilot interface. Once you have opened the Copilot interface, if it's your first time, you will be asked to sign in. So I will just go ahead and sign in at this time. All right, so once you're signed in, you will now have the full Copilot experience in Windows, the free version. Now let's just go for an overview of the chat interface. Starting from the left, you have the option to open the Microsoft Copilot in the browser or Copilot in Edge. This will open the web version of Copilot. You have the option to refresh. If your Copilot is stuck, you can use this option to refresh it. If you select the three dots, you will get more options. And we'll just go to settings. In settings, you can give Copilot access to your Microsoft Edge. So for instance, if let's say you have any browsing history, if you have any preferences in Microsoft Edge, if you have any web pages that you're working on, then Copilot in Windows can pull from Microsoft Edge to better help you answer your questions. All right, so we'll just go ahead and and keep this on. Now there is a side-by-side -side option with Copilot. When this is toggled, Copilot will remain on the right side of your screen. So for instance, if let's say I would open Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Edge will be open and that's full screen, but it is still on the left side while Copilot is on the right. If I open any other app, they open the Microsoft Store, and I maximize it, it will stick to the left. If I open File Explorer, the same thing will happen as well. So the Copilot side-by-side -side option will allow you to keep the Copilot interface on your screen. Okay, so that's it with the top interface. Let's go to the bottom interface. In Copilot in Windows, you have the option to start a new topic. That's important because whenever you're doing prompts, you're only limited to 30 prompts per topic. As of the recording of this video, Whenever you want to do more prompts, you'll have to start a new topic. Uh, lifting the limitations on prompts. However, it is only the only limitation is that it is on a per topic basis. You have the option to add an image. You can add an image both by uploading from your machine or by copying a link from a Premiere browser. So for instance, from my browser, type in copilot image. And I take an image and I right click on it, copy image link, paste this link here and the image will appear in the chat box. You can now interact with that image. What does this image see? And the copilot will generate a response. Okay. So as previously mentioned, you have a limitation of 30 prompts and per topic. So as soon as you reach 30, you can start a new topic and you will start again from what? You can also add a screenshot as well. So the add a screenshot option, if you just select add a screenshot, you can copy whatever you like, press done, and that too will appear in the Copilot chat interface. The other thing that you can do as well is you can speak into Copilot and you can give it instructions via voice. What is Microsoft Copilot? Microsoft Copilot is an AI-powered productivity tool that coordinates large language models, LLMs, content in Microsoft Graph, and the Microsoft 365 apps that you use every day, such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint. It enhances product. All right, so as you can see, um, you can speak into it, and it will also give you, it will also read out the prompts for you, and you can also choose to stop it from reading those prompts. So if you select the plugin option, you can use various plugins to enhance your Copilot experience. You can use up to three plugins for conversation. 
I mean, basically enhances what Copilot can do. For instance, let's try the Suno plugin. So I will keep it disabled. And I'll tell Copilot, make a song on Gwinnett Tech Solutions. If you're enjoying the content so far, be sure to like and subscribe. I post tech related videos every week. Let's get back into it. And Copilot will go ahead and generate a song. Copilot has generated the song. You can ask Copilot to basically read the song aloud. Verse 1. In the heart of the digital realm where circuits hum, Burnet Tech Solutions, our journey has begun. All right, but that's not too enticing, is it? If you go to plugins and you enable the Suno plugin, for instance, you have to create, you have to start a new topic and enable a Suno plugin. Tell again to make a song on Gwinnett Tech Solutions. The Copilot will use the Suno plugin to generate that song. Plugins are used to enhance your responses or enhance the results that Copilot gives. All right, once Copilot has generated the song, you can play or listen to it. Alright. So that's one of the plugins, the Suno plugin that you can use within Copilot. Alright, so that's the general Copilot interface in Windows. Let's see how we can utilize those key Copilot in Windows features. Alright, so we'll start with troubleshooting. So if you have an issue, let's say you have an audio problem on your computer, you can ask Copilot, why isn't my audio working? And Copilot will help you troubleshoot why your audio isn't working. So Copilot asks, Troubleshoot, sure. Would you like me to open a troubleshooter for you? But you say like, yes, it will open Windows standard troubleshooter option. So in this troubleshooting page, Windows will actually help you go through and assess the type of problem that you have. And it will give you the option to run the audio problem troubleshooter. So from there, you're actually dealing with the troubleshooting application that's built into windows itself so if you select yes it would take you through the automatic diagnostic tools and give you more instruction but with copilot if you necessarily don't know where to go this will give you that option or it will prompt that option before you let's say you have a camera issue so you can see my camera is not working and copilot will assist you by opening the camera troubleshooter so Copilot can assist you with troubleshooting typical hardware issues by opening or launching the troubleshooting interface. Let's get into the second main feature. That is changing Windows settings. In Copilot, if you type in turn on that code, Copilot will ask you for permission to perform that change on your machine. So would you like to switch to dark mode? Be like, yes. And right now my machine has switched to dark mode. Now, how would you find out that this option typically so what you would do is usually you right click on your desktop you go to personalize you go down to colors and then you can choose your mode if it's dark mode light mode or custom so if you don't want to do these extra clicks just ask copilot to do it for you and it will automatically make that change another prompt you can give it is to copilot mute by volume Copilot again will confirm, would you like me to mute the audio on your PC? You can select yes. And as you can see, my audio has been. So tell Copilot to turn off that one. And select yes, I would like that one to be turned off. All right. Now, you can also ask Copilot to do other things like change your wallpaper. So if you ask Copilot to change wallpaper, Copilot will actually prompt to the wallpaper changing screen and you will have to manually go in to actually change your wallpaper. It says I have a 10 minute open personalization, background, setting page for you, so you can customize your own wallpaper from there. You can also ask Copilot to turn on Bluetooth and to ask you, do you, would you like it to, to run Bluetooth for you? Like yes, and Bluetooth right now is on and activated. Now let's take a look at the common task that you can perform with Copilot in Windows. So to do this, I have downloaded a few applications. So let's ask Copilot to launch Google Chrome. And as you can see, it will give you the prompt to open Google Chrome. Would you like me to open Google Chrome app for you? Yes, please. Let us 
try launch OBS Studio. Right. As you can see, it will ask you, do you want to open up OBS Studio? Yes, let's open it up. And OBS Studio has opened. All right, let's try Cleaner. So some of these applications might open, some of these might not open. So far, all the applications are opening. All right. And Cleaner has opened. And let's launch Steam. Yes. All right. So with Copilot in Windows, you can launch applications that you have installed on your machine. Another common task that you can tell Copilot to do is to take a screenshot. So if we just type, take a screenshot. All right. And it will open up Snipping tool. And you can use it to take your screenshots. You can ask Copilot to launch a screencast. And the screencast option will appear. So you can connect. You can type open file explorer. Yes, you like to open file explorer and the file explorer page will open you can type add a keyboard and you get the option to add a device keyboard using both of and devices it will open up that setting for you you can also tell copilot to snap my windows and you can select whichever other window you want yeah on the other side and you can also tell copilot to launch multiple apps so let's do launch steam cleaner Lubra studio it will basically give you the option to open each of these apps individually but at least that's there with copilot in windows you can also change your conversation style that's not unique to the windows version but you can allow it allows you to write more creative or you can write more precise precise basically is you are asking for direct answers Creative basically is your being more imaginative or more colorful in your responses and balance is just that balance. If you go into plugins, you can also incorporate or utilize the designer APT, which is the DALI free or the text to imaging function of Copilot. So that's it. That's how you use Copilot in Windows. If you like this type of content. Be sure to like and subscribe. I make videos like this every single week. I will see you in the next video.